Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with one of the new Disney Classic Doll Wardrobe Playsets. Well, this is called the Wardrobe Playset because it has the infamous wardrobe from the Beauty and the Beast. Not to mention the very elusive feather duster, plus a little more common for them to include Chip and Mrs. Potts, but we also get the magic mirror. And Belle in her pink outfit, which has only been done, I believe, four times by the actual Disney Store dolls. Uh, I do have an older version of that and of the wardrobe that we're going to compare and contrast here at the end of this video. But I just want to show you guys how pretty this packaging is. Like, she's in there, she's displayed, she's posed. With the Disney Store dolls play sets, you could keep them in their boxes and they still really show a scene. Um, I don't keep them in their boxes because I would rather have them out and displayed on shelves. Uh, but we are going to take a look at these. I haven't done a Disney store doll review on my channel yet, I don't think, because I haven't bought that many. Because I have most, if not all, of the Disney dolls that I want currently. This was one that I wanted because the dress is not attached to the cape, which we'll discuss later. And this Madame Wardrobe is significantly larger than the one that I have and more accurate. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the side of the box. We've got Belle. Here is the back of the box, as you guys can see. She does come with gloves also for her winter look. And there we have the Feather Duster, Mrs. Potts, Chip, and the wardrobe. As you can see, you can hang something inside there. Um, so that's fun. Um, so these boxes are big. They're usually a lot bigger than they actually need to be. Um, but Disney has kind of just like settled on a size for these boxes to be pretty much. Um, so we just kind of have to go with it, which is one of the reasons why I like to take them out of the box, just because there is so much box and really not that much, um, like not figure, but not that much doll in the box. So that's why I prefer to take mine out of the box. I feel like in the box collectors have to have so much more room available and Disney is my primary doll collection. So it's one of the ones that I have out. I have three bookshelves full of Disney dolls. As you can see out of the box without that glare, she looks very good. She has a couple of spots on her face that are just dust and this is just like a little spare fragment in there, but she looks great. Madame Wardrobe is very heavily secured in there. Um, so we are going to use our nippers to free up her legs because that's a little easier most of the time than trying to um, than trying mess with them individually but they are very cute uh, and I do have one that's back there that I can't really get to I may have to use my longer ones for So, 
she's kind of the biggest piece that we're going to worry about taking out. Which, there she is out now, as you can see. Still a lot of rubber bands holding her on, holding her drawers closed. But she is very pretty. It's very heavily molded. I've got one little thing left on her back leg over here. Look at that. Fully molded into the back. She's got this right here. And this actually opens up even more to put more stuff in there. So it's not just half of her is not open. So I love that. That's awesome. Um, so we're going to set her off to the side while we try to figure out the quickest way to get Belle out. Um, which most of the time just means going from the back for these uh, staples. Now Disney has started moving away from plastic packaging for their uh, classic dolls, at least. Um, but unfortunately that does not come around for the um, for the deluxe playset dolls yet. But it still works really well to keep them all in there. I think we got all of these. I guess I guess not. I don't know how I missed one right at the top. I guess I thought I'd got it. Okay. No, no I missed two. Wow. That was wrong. Three. Jeez. Okay, I'm blind this morning. Okay. So here is our cape that we have. As we can see, it does have a full hood. It opens at the back like this to slide onto the doll. Lots of staples were in there holding it together. So I've got to kind of feel around for those and get them out. It's a nice light velvet. Um, so nothing too crazy on this. It's very close to what we see Belle wearing in the uh, something there part of the movie. So most sweet and almost kind, but he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. That part. Uh, and it's a very cute hood. We're going to set that right there as I scooch away some of this other stuff. Now, the doll itself is very much the same classic doll that we've been getting for a while, which is fine because it's a good mold. Now, here we have our feather duster, the uh, paramour of Lumiere. She's wonderful. It's like the first time I've seen her in a doll scale figure. Some of the uh, deluxe like play figure things have had her but not actually very many she doesn't show I think she's more considered one of those minor characters we've got a Mrs. Potts she's very cute very well molded um, and we've got a chip again very cute very well molded paint is on par with what I expect from Disney at this point um, It's very much that I've come to expect a lot of these things from Disney uh, without really them disappointing me. 
The thing that they've done recently that is disappointing, we do have this really well molded mirror. Last time we saw this was in the deluxe pack that I think was 2013, if I'm not mistaken, was when that one came out. Uh, so here is Belle. She is out. She's got a lot of stuffing under her dress to make it look this poofy. And that's like the first thing I do when I take a doll out of its box, take out all that stupid uh, fluffing that they give us instead of just giving us a crinoline. Uh, and so I'm going to take these last two off. Oops, sorry about that, y'all. So here is the little hanger that we get. It's very cute and a little, little brush. Not a horrible brush, but it's just not one that I actually need. Um, and so let's move, I think it's Madame Chamber. I cannot remember her actual name. Uh, I don't like the way these gloves look on her. And of course that means that they are um, stapled together to the dress for some reason. There we go. Okay, so just one little staple. And her arms are facing the wrong way. Um, So that looks much better without the gloves. Um, I'm sure she had gloves on in the movie. I don't remember off the top of my head what her gloves were like. Um, but these are the gloves that come with her. Very basic. Um, and then here is her hood again. And then for putting on her hood, we just go like this. And we just kind of pop her head into there. And we can actually pull her hood through, or her hair through, to where she can wear her hood like this, which is very cute. And that's what she would look like like that. And now compare that to this one that I have, which is the, I think this one came out, this dress was released, I want to say in like the early aughts, um, but it was before the new style of, uh, of Disney doll. This is a classic doll that I just put this dress on. This dress came in a fashion pack. Um, but as you can see, back here, her cape is just detachable, but this fur part is actually sewn to her collar. So I don't love that. And I did have to like redo her hair and I may have messed it up a little bit, but, uh, and she's wearing yellow shoes under there. She does have a crinoline though, um, but so I may steal that crinoline and uh, put it under hers. And as you can see, the difference in these dolls is very, is very just like staggering. That one is much closer to the uh, to the actual movie that we got. Um, I do love that it comes with the mirror which is one of the few pieces that i don't have from the uh 
from the Beauty and the Beast Disney Store line. So I love that. This was, uh, I think, I think it retails twenty nine ninety nine, which generally now that the uh, now that the classic dolls retail for twenty is not a bad upcharge. When the classic dolls were retailing for like twelve or thirteen, uh, it was a big jump between the deluxe play sets and the classic dolls. But the classic play sets have not jumped super high. I think they may jump. I think they may have jumped to thirty five, but they are just, you know, they're worth it most of the time, because you get outfits that they don't produce very often. You get figures that are to doll scale and I mean look at the size of this Madame Wardrobe like she looks great now I'm going to show you guys the most staggering difference in a Disney doll that this was not made by Disney this was made by Hasbro and that was the best Madame Wardrobe that we'd had so far look at the difference between these two like not even a close comparison. This has got a sticker face. This is entirely molded. Like, you open this up and, uh, and Belle likes to fall over. This is why I have the other one on a um, thing. I mean, we do have some accessories in there, a couple of hangers. She's got more hanging room, I think, but like, and she's got a sticker inside there that's got the blue dress. But look at the dress that they included in that which is the film accurate costume and it is perfect to this one I love it um, so yeah this is the much better version of uh, Madame de Chambre. I think that's her name it's Madame wardrobe or something like that but like this is just like it's got an ugly back you know, this was the best one that I had at the time when I bought it. This is the best choice. Uh, this is a character that doesn't get made very often. Look how she is almost at the same height compared to this one, which has eh, like quarter of an inch height on the classic doll. She's going to be more like the, uh, the size of the princess. But this is just great. Like, I love this new set. This doll is going immediately on my shelf. She's going to replace this one. Uh, these gloves may get uh, reused. I may dye these red for Corella because I'm about to do a custom Corella doll. Um, but yeah, because I, I don't like the way those gloves look with that outfit. And I don't know if I have any other gloves. I think I may have yellow gloves, but I'm not sure. So I may just hold on to these. Um, uh, but yeah, this is a, this is the great new Bell classic doll wardrobe set, wardrobe play set. It's available at Shop Disney. Um, I don't know if you can get these at the Disney stop, Disney stores that are by the parks, but you probably can because the only Disney store that's left around me is a Disney outlet and they don't get stuff till it's way past premiered. So if you guys have any questions on these, let me know. If you guys want to see more from my Disney collection, let me know and I can do a breakdown of all the uh, in-scale figures that I have per movie. But yeah. So this is just a nice quick video that I wanted to do because I needed to unbox this one anyway. And I realized I haven't really done Disney Store dolls. Um, but these have great articulation for what they are. They've got articulation at the elbow, at the wrist. They have uh, the sort of like uh, the semi-bend knees. Got articulation at the hips. Some of the more... Uh, uh, some of the more expensive limited edition dolls have better articulation, but the Disney store bodies are kind of what my basic articulation needs are. 
and the only reason I don't switch them all over to Made to Move is because it's really hard to skin match, skin tone match the Disney Store dolls to where I'm happy with the color. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. Not every doll can be Raya and have all of the extra articulation. So if you guys have any questions on these, or if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.